Hello everybody, it's Jane from Ladies Vlogging and are you sitting comfortably and ready to begin straight away with our next story? Well, if you've been following the videos then you will know that we're working in December from the Advent calendar. So what day is it today? Well, today is the 4th of December so I'm looking for the number four. Hmm. Do you remember I told you that the numbers were in random order? That means that they're not in the correct sequence. They're not in the order of number one, two, three, four, five, six. So because it's random, I've got to look for the number four. Now, where is it? Ah, here we are. Now, this is the book for today. I wonder what the story will be. Now, if you have any children, this is the time for them to sit and listen to the story along with you. Or maybe you want to sit and listen to the reading of this story in English with Jane. Yes, I really like this one. This story is called Aladdin. Do you know that story? Often we find this story in our pantomimes. Aladdin. Let's have a look at the back of the book. Do you remember what we called the information on the back of the book? In the first video, I reminded you that at the back of any book where you have some information about the story, it's called a blurb. So let's read the blurb. Princess Jasmine must marry a prince. Hmm, that doesn't seem unusual. Ah, he uses the word but. And we all know, don't we, that something's going to happen after that word but. Something that we're not expecting, perhaps. Princess Jasmine must marry a prince, but when she meets a poor street urchin called Aladdin, she falls in love. Will the two ever be able to be together? So I wonder if it's a kind of love story. Let's see. Aladdin. In the Arabian desert, an evil sorcerer named Jafar told a thief named Gazim to enter the Cave of Wonders to fetch a magic lamp. Ooh, I like things that are magic at Christmas. Only one may enter here, a voice boomed. One whose worth is far within. And the cave wouldn't let Gazim inside. Mm, what am I going to do, said Javar. Who is the person that the cave will allow in? Well, the next evening, a poor young man named Aladdin arrived and what Aladdin didn't know when he arrived in the city was that in the palace there was a princess called Jasmine and the princess was very unhappy. Do you know why she was unhappy? Her father wanted her to marry a prince in just three days time. It's the law, he said, you're a princess. Oh, I don't want to be a princess anymore, she said. If I do marry, I want it to be for love. Well, Jasmine's father didn't know what to do. So he asked Jafar to come and help him. But Jafar was quite evil and all he wanted to do was marry the princess for himself. So that night, Princess, Princess Jasmine ran away. Before long, Jasmine saw a hungry child and she took an apple to give it to him. Do you think that's a good thing to do? She's really giving a hundred hungry child something to eat, but at the same time, she's stealing that apple because she hasn't paid for it. And then Aladdin saw her. What are you doing? He said. I've run away from my father 
because he wants me to get married and I want to marry for love. So Aladdin decided that he would try and help out. So do you remember Aladdin has only just arrived at the city? He probably doesn't know his way around at all and he doesn't have any money and other people aren't being very kind to him. So he went off to find a cave to stay in. Oh, and look at that. It's the Cave of Wonders. Do you remember the cave at the beginning of the story where Jafar had tried to get a magic lamp? Well, Aladdin went into the cave and he found the lamp. But as soon as Aladdin found the lamp, he touched it and what do you think happened? Bazoom! He rubbed the lamp and out of the lamp came a genie. What is it you want most of all? The genie asked. You can have three wishes. Now we've talked about wishes, haven't we? What would you wish for if you could have three wishes? Hmm, I wonder what Aladdin will say. First, can you make me a prince? Well, we all know why he wants to do that, don't we? Because he likes Princess Jasmine. And the genie made Aladdin into a prince. So off Aladdin went to the castle where he met Princess Jasmine's father. Now Aladdin had been all dressed up in beautiful robes so Jasmine's father was easily taken in and he believed that Aladdin must be a prince. So Aladdin was really happy and Jasmine and Aladdin fell in love. Well there's quite a bit of the story left and this is about a prince and a princess who fall in love. But very often in stories, there's a complication, isn't there? So I wonder what this complication is going to be. Oh yes, it's Jafar, the one in the palace who wanted to marry Jasmine for himself and become the ruler. So Jafar heard all about Aladdin and he wasn't very happy at all. He tried to hypnotise. Ooh, you will believe that I am the real prince. But the king, who's called the Sultan, he wasn't very happy. Traitor, he said, and Jafar had to escape. So now we found out it, that Jafar is really the villain in the story and I think Aladdin will be the hero, don't you? Anyway, Aladdin still had his lamp and do you remember he still had some wishes but before he could go and get his lamp, Jafar stole it. Jafar rubbed the lamp. Hello, said the genie. I've got a new master. Because do you remember in the idea that there's a genie of a lamp, when the genie appears, it has to do the bidding of whoever it is who's rubbed the lamp. So even though Aladdin was his first master, now the genie has to do what Jafar tells him to do. Jafar wanted to become a powerful sorcerer because he wanted to banish Aladdin. But before he could do that, Aladdin sneaked into the throne room and reached for the lamp. Can you remember how many wishes there have been so far? First of all, Aladdin, he wanted to be a prince and then Jafar, he wanted to be a really important sorcerer. But 
That means two out of three wishes have been taken. So Aladdin thought, what shall I do now? This has to be the most important wish. So Aladdin decided the best idea was to get rid of Jafar. That's a good way for the hero to get rid of the villain. So do you know what he did? He rubbed the lamp and just before he was able to get the genie to do anything, Jafar appeared because Jafar had wanted to be the most important and powerful sorcerer, but Aladdin had persuaded him to believe that the genie was the most powerful. So what had happened was that Jafar became the genie. But where does a genie live? The genie lives in the magic lamp and Jafar had forgotten that all genies must live in a lamp until they're summoned by a new master. Oh no! Jafar cried. He was imprisoned inside the magic lamp. As a reward for Aladdin's bravery, the Sultan changed the law so that Jasmine could marry whoever she chose. Of course, she chose Aladdin. Well, isn't that a lovely ending to the story? So Jasmine and Aladdin fell in love and they were able to be together and Jafar, the evil man, he was turned into a genie and trapped inside the lamp. And the genie who was in the lamp was released. But do you know, I don't think the story will end there because what will happen when somebody picks up the lamp and summons the genie? Mm, that's a thought. Well, that's the end of today's story from the Advent Calendar and I look forward to you tuning in tomorrow for the next story to see who's reading at Ladies Vlogging and to find out what the story will be about tomorrow. Bye now.